Guys, I need help. What is it? Can you help me name one? Just one person that's excited for the NFL preseason? Uh, I don't really get excited. <laughs> Definitely not me. Exactly, that's my point. No one gets excited for the preseason. I bet even the fans don't even get excited. Who seriously looks at the NFL schedule and thinks, man, I'm ready for the preseason. You cannot think of anyone. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So in this video, we're going to go over... Um, a really simple and, you know, straightforward topic, but that is the three things that I would like to see either during or after the 2022 NFL preseason, specifically, of course, for the Atlanta Falcons. And uh, these three things are, like I said earlier, pretty straightforward. I feel like they're not, you know, uh, it's not going to change your mind that much and be like, oh, I never thought of that. I hope I see that too. Like, it's kind of just like, yeah. I kind of want to see that too. <laughs> uh, but uh, regardless, I do think that these things are important to talk about because um, while I do recognize that preseason doesn't always, you know, correlate to the regular season, for example, Jamar Chase struggling in the preseason last year to ultimately winning Offensive Rookie of the Year uh, in 2021. Uh, again, I know that most of the time, whatever happens in the preseason doesn't usually correlate to the regular season. Sometimes you do need to still see some things happen in the preseason to get a better understanding of what's going to happen in the regular season. Because you just never really know. And it's also better for the coaches and players' sake because they just simply get experience a little bit on the actual field playing teams instead of, you know, themselves. So... Uh, let's just get straight into it. Number one, pretty obviously, I do want to see these rookies get their feet wet into the NFL. This probably goes for every preseason instead of just the 2022 one. But with a Falcon squad like this, where basically the whole entire team, they're not all rookies, but it kind of feels like it because it's just such a young roster. I want to see a lot of these players get their feet wet into the NFL. And they don't really have to do that good necessarily. I just want to see them get on the field and get experience. Drake London, get him some plays. Arnold Ebiketti, get him some plays. Uh, the one I really want to see is Troy Anderson. I want to see what he can do as a linebacker, as a quarterback, as a special teamer. Whatever they want to do with him, I just want to see him get a lot of experience in the NFL because... Keep in mind, in college, he really didn't have all that much experience as a linebacker. His whole football career, he kind of like switched around positions a lot. And I just want to see him try out a lot of new things at the highest level of football, which is the NFL. Get all these rookies as much experience as possible and, you know, give them a little thumbs up and just kind of give them a welcome to the NFL kind of feel, but not in a bad way, <laughs> you know, obviously. Like give them a, uh, a good thumbs up and give them you know, uplifting energy to make them think, hey, we got this. We're, we're super young to the NFL, but we can do this. The second thing is I do want to see creativity from the offensive and defensive play calling uh, because for one thing, it's the preseason. There's nothing to lose. It doesn't matter if you win or lose because whatever creative play call you make, you can just see if it works and you can just practice with actual players and different teams instead of your own team. Uh, and what, again, what do you have to lose? Like you can literally dial up any play possible and just see if it works. Felipe Franks I see is kind of trying out different positions. Literally, this is the perfect time to see if the whole Felipe Franks experiment, experiment is going to work. Just dial up these random plays with Felipe Franks. Dial up these random plays with Desmond Ritter. And I'm specifically noting this for the offense because if Arthur Smith really is this offensive genius like we all think he is, then this is a good time for him to not only practice and, uh, you know, just experience these new play calls, but also to see if it works, like to see if there's no uh, flag that could potentially come in. Uh, just see if it all works. And for Dean Pease, it looks like he's pretty fired up about this season, so I also want to see him get pretty creative with all of these defensive players. And then the third thing is to just improve. That's all I really want to see. This is such a young roster. We have no idea what's going to happen. And again, I know that whatever happens in the preseason usually does not correlate to the regular season, but you just never know. I just want to see this team improve. I want to see Marcus Mariota improve. 
I want to see Desmond Ritter improve and see if he really was worth that third round pick. Drake London, Kyle Pitts, Cordero Patterson, AJ Terrell. Is Casey Hayward still the same Casey Hayward? Grady Jarrett, is Arnold Ebiketti the answer we needed? Lorenzo Carter, will he be a good fit besides the fact that the fans are excited about him because he's a former Georgia Bulldog? Like, I just want to see this team improve and there, there's a lot of things to look forward to in the preseason, but you know, those three things, admittedly, they were pretty straightforward, but I think we all can agree that for the most part, I think all of that is what we all really want to see from the Falcons 2022 preseason. But did I miss anything? Do you disagree with any of them? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a video this Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.